Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. Mark G with a C, back with another video. Gonna be a CD update uh, video today. Um, I have got four grails, four big grails of mine to show you here. Um, I've picked these up over the last, oh, probably couple of months to be honest, probably first one of these I got late on last year. But anyway, I wanted to save them all for the same video because I thought four grails in a video um, and I made up, absolutely made up to have got them. Um, so with no further ado, we'll crack on. The first one, all the way from um, Quebec in Canada um, and heavily sort of cited as... Um, maybe not the pioneers but they're certainly sort of the front runners of the technical death metal um scene and this is gorguts and their second album erosion of sanity um released in 93 on road racer records um considered dead their debut um is a huge grail of mine um and i cannot get my hands on that it just seems to go for big money T too much more than i'm willing to pay um i work on a budget and, and it, it's three four times um, what i'm willing to pay for it the, the going rate these days um but yeah that that debut of theirs considered dead is is i consider that an absolute death metal classic um and I can remember when this came out back in the day, um, 93 was sort of, was on that, that sort of cusp of when thrash and death metal was, was kind of struggling. Uh, and for me, this album um, just, it didn't get the recognition it should have. If you like technical death metal, this is an absolute masterpiece. Um, Luke LeMay, the sort of main man, that's the inside there. And that pitch on the inside is actually a drawing. If I can get it to focus in a bit for you. It's not even a photo, but from distance it looks like a photo. Yeah, technical death metal at its finest. The first one considered dead is not as technical as this. And the more they sort of got into the career. I mean, I think the next album after this was, was maybe recorded about five years after this. And they just got more and more technical. But yeah, um, from Canada, Gorguts and the 93 release, The Erosion of Sanity. Okay, second out of the four, we have got from Brighton in the UK, we have got Virus and uh, Lunacy. <clears throat> um, I think a friend of mine picked this up on vinyl originally back in the day uh, i don't ever remember owning it um originally but you know as you're sort of collecting and, and looking to to add to your collection it's not always about the new the new albums that you pick up um and i, and I love kind of retracing my steps and going back and thinking about bands that that i loved back in the day and this is one of them virus um this is what year was this released god blimey 89 was it? Has it got a year on there? Yeah, 89. 89 on the AVM record label. Hope that glare's not too bad there. It's just showing all my hi fi and my phone off, isn't it, really? But yeah, AVM records, quite a, a small label. Metal Works, as it says on there. Um, and this is UK Thrash. It's got that hardcore sort of crossover feeling to it, mainly because of the vocals. Um, the guitar has got a real, I wouldn't say a Bay Area sound, but it's definitely got an American sort of thrash guitar sound to it. Um, it's excellent, it's really good. Um, I think it was a bit overlooked back in the day, and, th and I think that was because UK thrash was always considered sort of second class thrash compared to uh, the American scene. Um, but yeah, I like it. I rate it very highly. Um, it's not for everyone. The vocals may put some people off if you're not into that sort of crossover 
style. Um, I mean, you can see the guys there, they, they sort of look like your, your Crow Mags or your, that kind of DRI. They've got that crossover look to them, haven't they? But yeah, it's superb. Superb UK Thrash from 89. Third from Sweden, the mighty Bathory. Um, and this is their fourth release, I believe. Blood, Fire, Death. Um, I think I had this on vinyl, a gatefold vinyl, maybe it was back in the day. But as with a lot of my original collection, it seems to have disappeared. Whether whether I sold it or whatever, I must have, or given it, I don't really know. But um, swapped it, who knows? But um, yeah, this is um, Godfathers, really, um, in Swedish music. These guys are sort of cited. I say these guys, it was more sort of a. I know it wasn't a one man band because they had other musicians, but Quarthon was the sort of mastermind behind this band and, and they are cited as a very inspirational, if not the most inspirational band on the Norwegian black metal scene. Um, this album is, it's definitely black metal, there's no doubt a little flyer in, oh, is it a flyer? No, it's just like a, so this is, anyway, this is Black Mark Records, a 93 release, Black Mark. Um, where was I? What was I saying? Yeah, this album, it's very black metal orientated, but this is, this is I suppose the point where Bathory were turning into what they would class as Viking metal. Uh, and, and you could say this was kind of the first time that Viking metal was was being heard, you know, compared to that pure black metal. Hammerheart, their next release, was was completely away from the black metal and, and really focused on the Viking metal. Um, yeah, just absolutely fabulous. Uh, produced by Boss and Quoth on the sort of main two men. Um, this has been on my want list for a while now. I would like to pick up the, I'm sure it, there might even be a noise records. I've got Hammerheart on a Noise record CD, so I'm thinking this might be the same, or, or maybe this was released on Under One Flag. I would really like to get that OG press of it, but this is a Black Mark release, um, so it'll do me for now. And how weird does that look? Two barcodes on there, and they're both the same barcode, but different, uh, different two for some reason. So yeah, Bathory from Sweden. Um, 93, yeah, 93 original release. This is a, I think this is a 2003 reissue, I think. Please let me know if I'm wrong. And my fourth grail, um, yeah, made up to get this, absolutely made up to get this. Um, I've seen this a few times, um, on Roadrunner, but I know there's a few Russian boots out there of the Roadrunner version, so I was always going to look for the uh, the UK under one flag press. And this is uh, Holy Terror, and their album Mind Wars, their second release um, from LA in America. What year was this release? 88, yeah. An 88 release. I always loved that artwork on the inside there. Now I did have this on vinyl uh, back in the day. And again, it was either sold, swapped, given, whatever, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I love this album. This is, for me, the most, for an American thrash band, the most un-American sounding thrash album. I, when I first heard this, saw it on the Under One Flag label, so didn't sort of associate with being it. I didn't know where they were from. I would have honestly um, classed this as as German. Definitely European thrash. Um, Keith Dean's vocals, so different, so unique. Uh, Kurt 
Kill felt the guitarist, I do believe. I think he may have been in Agent Steel at some point in his career. But just fabulous, fabulous album. It's thrash metal, it's speed metal. It's, it's not as straightforward as thrash metal, there's more to it. And a lot of that's down to uh, Keith Dean's vocals. Absolutely love this album. Um, I have picked up, is it on that side? I did pick up the CD that's got Terror and Submission on it as well, uh, which I do enjoy, but this is the album for me, Mind Wars. Did I show you the inside? Oh, I did, yeah, that great artwork there, look at that. That's better than the album cover for me. So that's it. Four Grails, Holy Terror, Mind Wars from 88, Bathory, Bloodfire Death from I think 93. I hope I'm getting that right. Virus, Lunacy from uh, 89. And Gorguts, The Erosion of Sanity from 93. So, um, absolutely made up uh, to have those in my collection now. Um, always hunting down um, not obscure because it's not obscure but hard to find uh, music um, and you know me I will only get it if the price is right I don't like paying over the top for it I kind of know what it's worth what I'm willing to pay um, and I will keep on hunting it down until I find it for that price so I won't pay over the top so yeah made up to have those in my collection we have been listening to uh, the new metal church damned if I do that's what's spinning in the background um, thank you very much to my, uh, my our friend Darcy over at Six Strings Nine Lives for uh, hooking me up with that. Um, it's a belter, I have to say. Really, really good. Really good. Um, so thanks for that, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm listening to in the background. Thanks again, guys, as always. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me waffle on and show you bits of my collection. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Um, please leave a comment. Let's chat about the music. Tell me if you've heard about these albums or you've not heard about them. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys. Um, until I speak to you again, take care. All the best and uh, see you soon.